Hello, my name is Angel Herright and I would like to show you in this short tutorial how Soxt works. Soxt is a web software which is going to help us to implement a strategic plan and a balanced scorecard in our units, in our departments. So the web starts here, we can select the plan that we like, 59 is a plan in English, uh, is a strategic plan for an emergency department in a general hospital. So once we select the unit, we can see in here the objectives and the values, the mission and vision of our units, the participants, the if we have if we are subdivide the unit in different responsibility centers, we can do a SWOT analysis guided by our list of topics um, that are gonna help us to reflect about the whole reality of our uh, organization. So we can do the SWOT analysis. Once we've identified the SWOT elements, we can assign specific goals in order to achieve uh, that uh, elements. So, for example, here SWOT, uh, we can have a weakness about a tight budget. So we are going to improve that. We are going to negotiate a better budget. We can score the impact of that goal and the ease of that goal that give us a priority coefficient and we can select if we want to assign strategic actions which are going to be uh, implemented in one time frame or if we want to assign a key performance indicator or we want to do both. If we once we've done that, we can see the priority matrix in which we can see the green area, which could be the area for which could be better to start because are the most uh, money for value uh, indicators or actions to be implemented. After that, we can have the plan of strategic actions, which are going to help us to reach these uh, objectives. For, again, for example, in here, to develop a business plan considering the scenario cast detected, and we can define all these actions, when is gonna, who, who's gonna be responsible for the achievement, and when do are they gonna have to uh, achieve that. Once we've done our action plan, we are going to be able to implement the balance scorecard by selecting the indicators that are interesting for us. For example, materials budget, pharmacy budget, new nurses recruited, the research. So we have the name of the indicator here, the formula for the how to work out this uh, indicator, and how are, when are we going to start to measure that and which is going to be the standard of our indicators, which is the desired level that we have to reach. What we've def once we've defined that, we are going to introduce in here the indicators that we've reached in a, a specific data, and we are going to be able to see this achievement in this screen individually, uh, indicator by, indi in, by indicator, any row in any row that is an indicator and if we won't see that in a more strategic way we can see the strategic map organized following the balance scorecard model in which we can see the perspectives on the left and the strategic groupers in here and the key performance indicators with the desired level showing the average between the data selected thanks very